if you don't do this, it's a bad idea. 100%. Hey guys, Dennis Mockin here. Thanks for hanging out with me. And today I'm going to be talking to you guys about my love for Sour Patch Kids. I love Sour Patch Kids so much that I literally almost got arrested over them. But that's another story for another time. Today I have a few products with me based on the actual candy itself. To my right, your left, we have Sour Patch Kids cereal. And on my other side, we have Sour Patch Kids ice cream. Now, I know you may have seen Markiplier do videos based on these products before, but I'm going to add my own little twist to them. But before we get into it, you can go over and support the channel by going right below this video, giving that like button some love, and if you are new here, click that subscribe button and ring the notification bell because I put up new videos every single day, and every little bit of support helps. Without any further ado, let's get Okay, so what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be comparing all of these products. And we're going to see, one, if they're actually any good, and two, if they actually taste like the candy themselves. Okay, first we're going to take a look at the breakfast cereal. We're going to take a look at the nutrition facts. We have 3 grams of fats and 13 grams of sugar. And comparing that to the actual candy itself, uh, 0 grams of fat and 24 grams of sugar with included food. 20, another 24. God, that is terrible. I didn't realize how much sugar was actually in Sour Patch Kids. But first, we are going to open this. It's never been opened before. We're waiting for this video to do this to actually see if this is any good or not. Okay, so it smells okay. It smells almost like those uh, Flintstone uh, vitamins from back today. I don't know if they still make them or not. So I'm going to try to have one. We're going to see how it tastes. Let's see. We'll go with a green one. It's okay. It's not bad. It's not terrible. But let's do a side by side here between the actual candies themselves and the Sour Patch Kids. We have a yellow Sour Patch Kid, and we have a yellow from the cereal. First, we're gonna taste cereal. One thing I'm noticing right off the bat is the cereal lacks any sort of sour taste. It's trying really hard to be sour, but it's not actually sour. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna try the cereal itself with the milk. Let it get a little soggy in there because that's how I like my cereal. I like it to be crunchy, but not too crunchy, you know. So it's not bad, but it doesn't really taste like Sour Patch Kids. There's no real sour flavor to it. Oh, maybe there is. Second thought, there's a little bit of sour on that one. But it's not really tasting like the actual Sour Patch Kids themselves. It's like the sour that the cereal is trying to mimic. It's overtaking the actual flavor of the cereal itself. Now before when I mentioned there was going to be a little bit of a twist, the twist here is I'm going to be doing some mixing and matching. Yes, I'm crazy like that. I'm going to take one of the candies and we are going to eat it with the milk. This is happening. Now this is going to be just the candy itself in the milk with no cereal with it. You would think the milk would do something bad to the candy, but it really doesn't. I like it enhances it a little bit. And of course it makes it a little hard because of the liquid. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take another candy, and we're going to combine it with the cereal, along with the milk, make sure it actually stays in there. Oh, that is not a bad idea. Yeah. Oh, that was a bad idea. All right, I definitely regret doing that. With that being said, though, the Sour Patch Kids cereal itself is not bad. It um, it tries really hard at being sour without actually 
taking the actual flavor from the candy itself. The yellow ones don't really taste lemony. None of them really taste like the actual flavor. It, it tastes like try it to be a little sour without actually succeeding, if that makes any sense. And it's still not bad. I mean, it could be better, surely, but you know, I wasn't really expecting a whole lot coming into this. Now we are going to open up this Sour Patch Kids ice cream. And ooh, I don't know if you can get a shot of that. Look at that. Smells nice. Looks good. From what I can understand, too, is this is actually a low-fat ice cream, which is strange considering it's based on an actual candy. And we're just kind of going to look through here. Total fat, 3.5. And going down to those sugars, uh, 25 grams of sugar included another 22 grams, which is a lot like what the actual candy is. So that's something I'm having a lot more optimism for right off the bat. And also taking a look, it's actually vanilla ice cream with lemon sherbet. Let's see anything else really caught into my attention, but we're going to give this a shot. All right, that's really good. It's the right combination of vanilla and the sherbet. I, I can't I can't quite pinpoint what actually the flavor is of the sherbet. And it's a little raspberry maybe. And also taking a look at the ice cream itself, we have some blue. I'm assuming that's when the blue sour patch kids. Because I'm only seeing red and blue. So this is a fantastic ice cream. Like, it's really good. It doesn't really taste a lot like the Sour Patch Kids. And there's no actual sour flavoring like the cereal had. But it's really good. Yeah, that, that's really good. Okay, now I'm feeling a little bit of the sour. Yeah, that's excellent. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take some of the Sour Patch Kids and we're going to put some ice cream on it and mix them in together. I suspect it got cold real quick and hard really quickly. Holy shit. Yeah, this is, this is a bad idea. It's almost impossible to chew if you combine the two. I'm not quite sure if you even understand what I'm saying at this point. So now I'm actually going to take the cereal itself and combine it with the ice cream. And I suspect it does not, it does not help the cereal at all. I actually take more, taste more of the cereal than I do the ice cream. Oh no. No. It actually makes the ice cream worse. I mean, I don't do this. It's a bad idea. 100%. Oh my god. Alright, so in conclusion with the ice cream. Ice cream on its own, absolutely fantastic. Especially for being a low-fat ice cream. And as for tasting like the gastro candy itself, there's a little bit of that sour flavor, but not much to where it distinguishes between the different colors that Sour Patch Kids candy actually has. So comparing these to the actual candy themselves, this tries really hard at tasting like Sour Patch Kids, but of course it fails. I was kind of expecting uh, Captain Crunch uh, Crunch Berries. You guys know what that tastes like to, for the Sour Patch Kids. It actually tastes like that. I would have actually been a little more favorable on that if they went that route instead of actually trying to go sour. And with the ice cream, like the cereal, there wasn't really much distinguishable flavors because there's only uh, red sherbet and a little bit of the blue. So you could only taste a little bit of the sour, but uh, I think the vanilla masked the, the flavor enough of the, the sour that it actually makes it taste much better than the cereal itself. So if I have to pick things to recommend, obviously I don't really recommend this. It's not terrible, but it's not really great either, and I don't think that's something you want to spend your hard-earned money on. And the ice cream, definitely go pick it up. 
I ended up having to go pick this up over at Target. I don't know if any other stores have them. Last I checked, Walmart didn't have them, so you're better off just going to your local Target. And of course, you can pick up the Sour Patch Kids candy just about anywhere from convenience stores to Walmart to Target, just about any place that has candy. And that will do it for this one. What do you guys think? Please let me know down in the comment section below whether you want to see more things like this to where I'm tasting things so you guys don't, or whether I'm tasting some really fun and interesting combination of products. Please leave a like before you go, share this video, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, ring the notification bell because I put up new videos every single day, and I'll see you guys next time.